Hello! In this tutorial, I'll show you how to convert BTC to USDT on Trust Wallet. The first thing I'd like you to do is to launch your Trust Wallet application, which of course I've done right here. Now, you're going to be asked to enter your passcode or your biometrics once you launch the application. So once you do that, it's going to take you into this homepage. Now, it will interest you to know that Trust Wallet is a secure self custody crypto wallet supporting 10 million plus assets across 70 plus blockchains including crypto you can buy sell swap transfer and end crypto all in one special place isn't that interesting oh yeah it is so now let's quickly hop into today's tag which is how to convert btc to usdt on trust wallet from this home page where you have crypto and nfts ensure that it is set to the crypto tab and in here you're gonna have to select btc but if you do not see BTC, click on Manage Crypto and you're going to find the BTC option. So select BTC in the search bar. So if it is toggled off, it's going to be shown like this. But if it's toggled on, it's going to turn green. So ensure it's toggled on. Now click on the BTC. It's going to take you to this window where you have Send, Receive, Swap and More. Now if you click on this More option, you see that there is no option for you to actually convert in Trust Wallet. So one of the ways to actually convert your currencies is to swap. I can click on the swap option to swap your BTC to USDT. So here's already BTC. You can click on here where you have this ETH. And that ETH, you're going to have to select USDT. Now select USDT. Enter the amount that you want to convert your btc for so once you select that this is the amount you're going to find as usdt so you're going to find the preview button instead of insufficient btc balance because i don't have money so once you click on that preview button follow through the step-by-step -step processes which are self-explanatory and you'll be able to swap your btc with your usdt or you swap it into usdt the next way is to send so you can click on the send option to actually send your BTC to a third party wallet. Let's say, for example, Bybit. So head over to your Bybit, launch your Bybit and click on the deposit option you're going to find there. So at the bottom corner of your homepage in Bybit, you're going to find assets. Click on assets and it's going to take you to a window where you're going to find deposit. Click on deposit and click on deposit with crypto. Select, uh, select BTC. So once you select BTC, go ahead and copy the address that you're going to find there so once you copy the address come over here and click on paste to paste the address you can even use the scan code if you the code right the QR code that's if you don't want to use the address you can just use the scanner in here from from your trust wallet and scan the code on bybit but let's say address so paste the address and then enter the amount of btc you want to send from your trust wallet Click on next and follow through within step-by-step -step processes to complete your transaction. Once the transaction has been completed, head over to Bybit and check your balance. You will see that BTC will be added to your Bybit. Now in there, in Bybit, let's head over to Bybit and see how we can convert. Now you can use Binance or any third-party wallet at all. So once the money has gotten into your Bybit, you can now convert directly. On Bybit, you can convert to USDT on this Bybit. How do you do that? So from here, click on Assets. The bottom corner of your screen is going to take you in here. So now you have the convert option, which you can find in Trust Wallet. So click on Convert. Now you can convert from BTC to USDT. So change here from BTC and ensure that it's set to USDT because that's the core of this tutorial, right? So in here, enter the amount see 1000 now have the sufficient balance but if you do you're going to see that you're going to see the amount of usdt you're going to get in return so click on quote and if you have sufficient balance click on quote and it's going to take you to the next steps where you can now convert successfully so that is it now you can go about this tutorial from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps and of course once you're done you'll be good to go i hope this tutorial marvelously helped you search